Hi guys, welcome back. We are heading into Heligoland. We've got some ships here in port. Very misty, murky day. We've got the reflection of the lighthouse. We can just about make it out. More ships over there. Yep, we're coming into Heligoland now. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at this. The weather is uh, gorgeous, as well as our friendly seagulls. Right, here we are. Let's just refit. Actually, should we end patrol? Can we? Oh no, we can only um, refit. So let's refit. Boom! Quick look. And there we are. Full load of torpedoes. It's given us the wakeless ones once again. That's fine. Oh, actually, has it? It's given us one. Is he only given us one? I thought we had two last time. Anyway, I guess it may be um, we've only got enough for one more in our renowned until we actually go in and end the patrol and get some more renowned. Fuel is 99%. Um, Hull integrity is lo we've lost a percent. We're down to 97, but that's fine. That must have been. I'm not sure what that is actually. Uh, we haven't had any attacks or anything. Maybe one of these seagulls swooped down and got too close and put a dent in the conning Ship tower. Who knows? Caring. Six two. There's a lot of ships around here, boys. We're in harbour. Actually, that looks like... No. It's... I thought they were floating, but what it is, it's the reflection of the jetty. Uh, and you're not getting the reflection of the ship. So it looks like it's actually above the jetty, but it's not. That's the water. It's in the waterline. It's just a weird reflection going on. Okay, cool. So, what are we doing? Where are we? I hear you ask. Well, we know where we are. We're in Heligoland. And we're just about to stop. We've, we've reloaded. And uh, it's March the 10th. So, less than a month until Denmark and Norway get invaded. So, here's obviously Denmark and Norway's here. Um, we have been advised to go up to... What's the port up here? Narvik. So, we're going to go up there now. And we'll, we'll hug the coastline of uh, Norway and see if any action is going on. Uh, so, we'll just come out of Heligoland. Five. Returning to course. New waypoint. Yes. Let's course. get underway. Three, four, four. Slow speed ahead. New waypoint. Nice course. deep water here, two, which is uh, two, two. always a plus. Um, Returning and we'll come up here, course. and we're going to hug around here. One, see what's going on in Stavanger. New waypoint. Course Bergen. One, eight, eight. New see if there's any um, one, French nine, or British eight. ships around there. Because uh, doing a bit of reading, obviously everyone's recommended to go up here and uh, saying uh, what's going to happen, etc. Um, what do we have here? This is... Uh, oh, so it's name right there. Um, Trondheim. Trondheim? Trondheim. Um, and... Yeah, so the, the Norway and Denmark were in talks... Well, Norway were in talks with the uh, French and the British to have an Anglo-French... Um, force based in Norway, which we can uh, potentially fight against the, uh, the the Nazis. But obviously, they thought, well, we're not going to have any of that. So uh, that kind of was the prelude to the invasion. So we're going to head up there, see if there's any ships forming up. So we'll head up to uh, to Norway and uh, check on the uh, port, see if there's any ships forming up ready to uh, defend or attack and uh, we will see if there's any British or French amongst them as I said they are what we're after at the moment the Norwegians are technically still neutral at this time so and for an, at least for another month so um, we can't go attacking their shipping and getting rewards for it so there's no point wasting our ammunition uh, so we'll press on and I'll see you at the next significant event Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we got a ship dead ahead, and wouldn't you believe 
It's a destroyer! She hasn't seen us yet, so we're gonna get the hell down. You can see we're in a blind spot, um, so let's just drop down. Um, she is a destroyer, so I am not in the best of angles to shoot at her, so we're not going to. We're just gonna let her go by. Um, where are we? What, what's the date? I hear you all cry. It is the 14th of March, 1940, and we are here, nearing Narvik, so we're right up here. We've literally come all the way along the, the coastal region here. Whoops, Daisy, I didn't want to do that. Um, that might cause a few issues if I left that. Um, and yes, we are... We are planning to come and have a look at Narvik. We can see there's definitely a Royal Navy destroyer heading towards the uh, the port. It seems to be split. It's quite a big port town, isn't it? We've got the um, we've got jetties and um, quaysides here. We've got um, obviously the port symbol there. We've got loads more jetties and quaysides all the way down here. Loads of buildings, support buildings, factories, warehouses, that kind of thing. So yeah, this looks like a really large port. Which is really good. Now. We've got two more contacts by the looks of it. Right, um, all of a sudden we're getting lots and lots and lots of contacts popping up. So we may... Oh, we've got another destroyer over there. Have we just stumbled into the rear of a potential convoy? It's possible. Uh, we're going to go slightly wider the mark, slightly wider the convoy, see if we can't get alongside it. Maybe get out of visibility range. It is 7 o'clock at night and it's pitch black. So, uh, we got a good chance of uh, potential um, surfacing again, getting a, get ahead of them, setting ourselves up and um, seeing if we can't set up a few shots going into the... Uh, into the uh, harbour there. Um, one thing is to worth note. Oh, I was just about to talk to him until Yosef got in the way. Um, New contact, merchant, moving fast, yeah, and moving line. away, bearing right away. three, three, five, long range. Okay, so he's they're getting all the contacts now. Waiting for Emil to uh, give me the keel. Depth under keel, Emil. Under keel is oh, there we go. One, two, nine. Meters. 129, 130, Captain. That's fine. Okay, so we do have a little bit of room to play with. Um, okay, so we're going to do a little bit of manoeuvring. Silent maneuvers in the dark. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can't uh, get ahead of this convoy. And uh, potentially have some fun. With 130 meters to play with, it's a very shallow... Well, it's a very... Well, it's reasonably shallow. And it's a very narrow, which is what I meant to say, um, stretch of water. But we could also always dive away into one of these little outlets and fjords or whatever, uh, hopefully, and that would uh, give us enough protection to get away from the uh, the ships. And we are actually on the lighter area, which is obviously the shallow area. It's slightly deeper here, which is quite good. Oh, there's a lot of merchants. There's a lot of merchants heading to Narvik. Cool. Right, we'll press on, and I'll see you back in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. We have done a little bit of manoeuvring. Not ideal manoeuvring, as you can see, we're here. We've got these ships in front of us. Um, I was trying to get around them, but there was destroyers down here and I couldn't get past them, so I decided to turn up into them, uh, get a couple of pop shops, pot shots off, bring the destroyers in and we'll try and sneak away. Um, that's the plan anyway. So we've got this one here. Tracking your target! Tracking your target! What do we reckon that is? We reckon that's a freighter. I'm a bit too close to uh, really call it. Um, that's not the auxiliary penguin, no. So what was it? That was a type... Oh, has this got any guns on it, actually? No, it doesn't. Um... It could be one of those. And rental, oh, yeah, we'll go with that. What the hell? Why not? Whoa, this is a good laugh anyway, isn't it? We might as well just choose it, choose it quickly, and then get on with it because you know we know it's not going to be the right one. We are actually. How close are we to the? 
We are about 200 meters, so we are a little bit close, actually. Um, Closing to one. Closing so if we stick two. that under it, depth set to five meters. fire. To one. I think that would probably be... We were too close. It had to go around. That was rubbish. I don't know where that torpedo's off now. Oh, too close, too close. That's annoying. Right, what we're going to do is go forward. Go forward into the middle of them. We need to be right in here so we can have front and aft shots. Oh, what a waste of a torpedo. Stupid shot. Stupid. All stop. Okay, so we've got a new target here. Waving the old ensign as well. I don't know why I'm bothering doing this. It, I, I can probably just set it to about 7 metres and that should be about right. No, it's not that one. It's not that one. Could be a Liberty S car. That'll do. Not too worried, really. We'll Don't pop that there. Set to five meters. Actually, we want to set it a little bit deeper than that. Torpedo depth set to six meters. Cool. Doopy doo, shooby doop doop doo, shooby doop doop doo. Uh, so if we fire it for about, they are, lost. There we go. And now we've got a destroyer getting a little bit excited behind us by the looks of it. Well, there you are. Thank you for turning your lights on. I couldn't see you without that. Switch that to fast. I'm just kind of trying to judge, see if he's actually speeding up or slowing down. So if he's not, then I might take a pot shot at him. We do not want it to be that deep. Probably three meters would be ample. Set to three meters. He seems to be searching and not really sure what he's searching for. So let's uh, fire. Firing to five. Firing 2-5. So obviously this task force, or this convoy should I say, is heading to Norway to try and probably convince the uh, Norwegians to let the Brits um, Two, one, stake a claim and uh, help them out. And our duty is to stop them. Alright, so our torpedo is going down this path. And it's looking pretty good for a hit. Although the uh, it's very dark, you can hardly see the uh, the ship, and this is with the gamma up. Torpedo impact. Oh, there we go. That's lit her up. A treat, and she's sunk. Boom! Whoa! Have a bit of that. Here, Tommy. Eh? Okay, so they're going to be pretty mad about that now. That's a destroyer down at least. Where's this ship gone? Obviously, destroyers are worth. Pretty next to nothing when it comes to tonnage. Um, where is our little friend over here? There he is. He's still going on. Um, let's start moving. I don't want to be particularly standing here when um, 
the other destroyers come to say hello. So let's press on. Let's have a quick look actually at see what the... Ooh, there we go. Um, oh, scroll down. Why won't it scroll down? There we go. Uh, it was a B-class destroyer for 1,360 tons. Nothing really. Just the satisfaction of just hitting a destroyer. And uh, that should bring all the other destroyers to the party. And hopefully we can go and pick up one or two of these others off. Um, if we go surface, we will bring that external in, and we'll bring that external in as well. Tube 2 is being reloaded, that's good. Um, we don't know... Well... I know people want us to wait for the potential large warships, but um, if there are merchants, then merchants are our trade. So we will check those out, but we're going to press on and see what else happens. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, seems to be a slight confusion amongst the convoy. Obviously back here is where we sunk that destroyer and the other destroyer did go and check it out, but these ships have started to um, go, bizarrely go north and south, or yeah, you know, they're going like this rather than uh, east towards the port, which is slightly bit, it could be because we've been tracking um, where is he? That is a ship there. God, no. This is so dark. It's so, so dark. You can tell that the gamma is up because you can see all the scratches on the lens. But where's our... Oh, you can see the smoke there. So our burning ship has just gone outside of um, the range of our visibility at the moment. So we have been tracking him. And these ships are trying their best, I think, to uh, stay with him. Which is suicide. Um, he's 300 meters. I wonder if we can... Stick that down to about Top seven meters. Set to six meters. Six meters, maybe. Uh, stick that on fast. And uh, and f fire. It's not a great angle. Five. But these ships just wander. Seem to be hanging around, which is a bit weird. Don't even know if that one's moving. So if I did actually lead that shot, we might miss it because I think that ship stopped. Impact. Oh, we just snagged the front, thank goodness. Okay, there's one in the front as well. Where was he? Here he is. Tracking new target. A large ship as well. Let's switch the front torpedo. That's a weightless one. This one is moving, so we will... Um, Bring that to speed fast. Oh, lock. There goes better. Target. And we'll probably pop that one about. Hello. Torpedo depth set to six meters. So if we fire that about there. Two, two, loss. Tube three will load the same. Torpedo depth set to seven meters. And while that escort is milling around, we will try and take these down. Sorry about the darkness. YouTube's just going to make this worse, but... Impact. Oh, that, that made the ship rise out of the water. Closing. Bearing two, six, one. Medium range. I think that may well be a destroyer. That was a good hit on that one, though. How's this one doing over here? Burning away nicely. 
we haven't have no further shots in the rear until we bring the external sh uh, shot back in. That's okay. This one is now doing evasive maneuvers. I think that's not a bad idea. Let's get um, down here and get out of the way. We're going to stay with them to a certain extent. We just want to get away from the uh, the flow of the uh, of the convoy for a second to let the destroyers do a quick search and hopefully not see us and uh, go on their merry way. And we're going to track these two targets as well as I think it's this one here or is it this one? Which is the one we hit first of all. Um, trying to be sparing with the old torpedoes. Uh, we do only have oh blimey we have eight forward firing one rear firing now. So yeah. A, a convoy you come on. Even if we have to go back, we'd probably still be back by the 9th. We would be back by the 9th of April, so that'd be absolutely fine. Right, we're going to stalk these for a little bit and see if the uh, damage starts to accumulate and they lose the battle with the fire and the pumps and they start to sink. So I'll see you in a short while. Hi everyone, welcome back. A uh, bit of news since you last left us. We managed to escape the um, the attentions of that destroyer back here. Uh, and we've seen two ships sink. Now this one is obviously one of the ones we hit and is destroyed. This one is destroyed but it hasn't... It's gone grey which means it hasn't been attributed to us. So that's an interesting one. Not sure what's happened there. So, um, that was the destroyer we hit. This one is a North Sands type large freighter for 7,174 tons, which is lovely. Uh, our merchant tonnage is now up to 75,410 tons. Warship tonnage is at 3,210. Coming up to um, almost 79,000 tons on this uh, this patrol which is pretty good 13 ships in total and one aircraft right so the the fleet as you can see the fleet thank you yeah it's, I suppose the convoy is what is more accurately described it's obviously looking like it's coming into here so uh, we're gonna stick to this slightly deeper water and skirt around the coastline here and then we're gonna come and have a look and see where they go um, there's obviously still potentially another damaged ship in there. I'm guessing this is this ship damaged here is one that we hit but for some reason hasn't been credited to us maybe I don't know maybe it sustained um, more damage from another source ie clipping another ship or keep it, um, hitting something anyway um, so yeah that's probably two of the ships that we hit um, but something else obviously did more damage on that one so we weren't credited with it uh, but we still have a damaged ship in there somewhere. So we're going to skirt around and then we're going to come up here and see if we can't check out what's going on. Actually, we'll see if they... Because I'm not sure if these ships are actually going to the harbour or they just kind of mill around here then go back out again. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, we currently, obviously, there's our current status. We need to get our two external reserves in to, uh, to bolster our things. That torpedo looks a little bit odd it's got some sort of outline and glitching around it but that's okay it's not a problem it looks fine um, the crew is okay morale is high everyone's happy we have 84% um, compressed air 4% co2 level battery is at 72 fuel is at 86 so we're in good shape um, just gonna need to be a bit more patient and uh, go and check them out trying to stay away from those destroyers so we'll press on and I'll see you in a little bit Hi everyone, welcome back. We are here at Narvik and 
There's absolutely nothing in the port. Nothing! Nothing, I tell thee. All we have are seagulls, some cranes, a lighthouse, and over here... Where was that light? I thought I saw a light over here. That's just a booming star. Uh, there's nothing. Um, absolutely zip. So I've been down here. There's nothing down there. Uh, we're just actually going to turn around now and come this way. So we've checked out both parts of the the, uh, the port. There's nothing there. So I reckon that convoy has probably come here and then turned around and gone back. So there's probably the convoys don't actually in game uh, dock. So they probably just come here and they're probably they're probably down here somewhere now. So we're going to do a banzai maneuver down the middle of the uh, point. Course 57. down the middle of the channel to see if we can't catch them up and see if there's anything there. We're actually going to go to uh, once we do this turn. Are we turning? Yeah, we've done the. Once we complete the turn, we'll go to um, half speed ahead. We'll go now, half speed ahead. We'll see if we can't catch them up. No further damaged ships have sunk along the way. Um, it is March the fifteenth. We currently have. 85% fuel, battery is charging, everything else is okay, obviously crew is okay, torpedoes, I've brought the two external torpedoes inside, so we have one aft and we have eight forward firing now. Um, so not a lot happened in Narvik, so uh, I'm going to come back out of Narvik and we're going to head down to, well, considering we, what, another couple of weeks, uh, and well, three weeks until the invasion of Norway and Denmark kick off. Uh, I think I might come back to Heligoland and refit and get some more uh, torpedoes because there's not a lot going on here. So, you know, we have, we have sunk a couple of ships and there was another ship denied to the uh, the Norwegians from the British. So that's um, still, even though we didn't get credit for it, it's still a, uh, a success for us. Uh, so we'll press on and hopefully I'll catch something up and we can maybe uh, finish a few more freighters off. Welcome back everyone. Um, I seem to have found a capital ship. Fortunately, an allied capital ship. Look at the guns on this baby. Uh, so she is obviously doing what looks to be a blockage of the port. And now there's another ship over here. Uh, it's gone into the mist so I don't know if we're going to be able to see her. new uh, but we're just stopping here so there's obviously a blockade going on into this port uh, I'll show you where we are now um, so we're here literally where we sunk that destroyer uh, we've come out of the Narvik um, estuary or whatever you call it fjord and we've got this uh, ship here now I'm wondering there's definitely one down here so we could potentially have a look down here check that one out and maybe look up here we might find one or two more here um, so we may have found the reason this ship took some damage and wasn't accredited to us. Okay, we have another ship over here. It looks like a German destroyer. Uh, obviously being support for that capital ship. The capital ship is over there, as you can see. Guns are all locked on for something. And over here we have another destroyer. Uh, so yeah, she's got plenty of um, support ships with her. I say plenty, she's got two destroyers, which isn't bad. Um, and there is another ship around here somewhere, I believe. There's probably more than that, it's just, there's the three we can see. Um, it's just a little bit dark and a little New bit murky. Waypoint. Course so, it zero. looks like things are getting a little bit exciting. Uh, I may hang around here for a little while, see if any ships try and run the bl blockade and see how these guys deal with them. Um, let's have a quick look. Okay, that's 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 not really that's not really worth it. Um North Side, we knew about that anyway, that's fine. So yeah, we have eight torpedoes, 
and the one in the rear. So um, yeah, yeah, I think we'll, we'll 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 probably stay here for a little while. Actually, I'm not I'm I'm not terribly keen to uh, move position and uh, I'll stop and lose our potential. I wonder. I wonder as we are surrounded by capital ships. Well, a capital ship and destroyers. Can we call in a a uh, request resupply? Okay. Try safe communications. Now should we request the? Damn! Damn them! Don't they like me? Um. But I'll let you know as soon as I do. Oh, look, his morale is really low. Let's let's give him a good um. No heckalon, but I. Okay. Um. Send a radio message. Send patrol report. Yes. Okay, morale is actually his morale's. I don't know why um Will Willem's um. Morale was so low. Yes, a little bit, especially. Let's give him a little talk. Radio Just, uh, that didn't really boost him, but... Right, Wolfram. Did I call you Wilhelm? I didn't mean to. Wolfram. Uh, stick on some radio. Oh, I don't know. Tipperary. Go on, go for it. Try and boost the, the crew's morale with a little bit of music. I feel quite safe with all the ships around us, so... Um, we'll let them have a little bit of music go on. Let's bring down the periscope. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I think that'll do for this episode. Probably going to be a bit of a short one. Um, ah, a obviously. British song. I'm sure the lieutenant will enjoy it. <laughs> okay. There goes the music. Cue the copyright strike on this video. But um, we're going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this. And join me next time for whatever comes of this barrage we are about to uh, hopefully see if a ship tries to run the blockade that will be amazing obviously this is gearing up uh, clearly this is gearing up for the invasion um, and I can't wait so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time in Silent Hunter 5